Okay, so we've brushed with olive oil. I'm going to turn it. And brush the other side. Two hours in the refrigerator and about two hours out here in this, this is a warm room. It hasn't risen all that much, just a little. Okay, we're nice and oily. It's pretty firm. Okay, I put the plastic back on. And I'm using a lid. Keep that sealed up. Okay, so uh, we're just going to let it go. Okay, so we're just going to let it go more. We want to try to get our double. And we're going to see what we can bake with it. Camera's off. Okay, it's about five hours total. And I think we have, that's about double in size. This is a small stainless steel pan. So that's like, it's, uh, it's not bigger than a bread box. I'm going to make a little personal pizza, I think. So we're going to just let that sit and rise some more. I don't think it's going to cause a problem. And uh, i got to run to the store. And then I'll be back. Camera's off. June 19th. It's Friday. Five minutes to 7 p.m. Well, we did a little experiment with uh, this dough. And we're going to make a pizza. Let's oil up our little plate here. I was thinking calzone, and I did buy stuff. I was at the store. This is, uh, this is eight and a half hours. This dough did the rising thing, and it does look pretty good. Okay, I just walked in the door from shopping, so I'm just going to put some, uh, Tomato paste on it. I'm not. I don't have time to uh, to make a sauce. So we're just gonna go with a uh, tomato paste. Uh, should I go with a seasoning? Let's go hot and spicy. This is finely ground. Cracked red pepper flakes. I put it in my coffee grinder. Really just bone.
just plain old tomato paste right from the can. Yeah, that's good. Next, we're going to go with some provolone. For this experiment, I really don't want to break into one of my big one pound blocks of uh, Parmesan, of uh, mozzarella. Okay, provolone. I should do it three and a half. Cut this one in half. Put it at each end. I got some hot sausage. We're going to cut it up. I usually cook it to all the toppings like this meat. I never do this. I never put raw on a pizza. But we're using my toaster oven. And I got it up to 400. I think this will work out. So we got a provolone sausage. Personal pan, cast iron pan. That's good. So what we did was we took our, uh, that pasta dough I messed up with, I took two sheets of it, and I added some sugar and kneaded it, and then I added some bread flour and kneaded it, and then I added some yeast and water and kneaded it, and uh, this is what I got from, it was a piece this big, and look, look at it now. So I think I'm, uh, and I put it in the refrigerator to rise for two hours. I put it in my storeroom at the window for two hours. It's 76 degrees in there. And uh, I had to go shopping. So it's been a whole total of about eight hours and 45 minutes that this pizza dough has been rising. And now we're going to put it in the oven. Five minutes after 7 p.m., 19 June, Friday night, cast iron pan pizza. Four hundred degrees. And we'll set our timer. Okay, camera's off. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay, it's been 10 minutes in a 400 degree toaster oven 
we got bubbling provolone. I don't want to burn the cheese. That sausage is cooked. Okay, we're going to remove it from the oven. Okay, we're going to let that cool a little. Let's make sure it didn't stick. It should, and when it cools, it should be better. It is a little sticky. It isn't enough oil. Okay, it looks a little on the dry side. So we're going to let that cool. Twenty minutes after 7 p.m. June 19, Friday night. Camera's off. Okay, let's transfer so we can carve this. It's still pretty hot. Okay, we got four nice slices. Okay. Let's see how the dentures dig into pizza. With dentures, you have to use small bites. No wolfing it down. You just can't handle it. Mm. A little on the moist side. Spicy. Mm. The dough is soft. It's uh, kind of cake like.
have to try that again. Okay, folks. My dentures got me through that one slice. And, uh, Friday night, June 19th, probably coming up on 7.30. Have a great evening.